guys. I'm lost. I don't know where I am. <laughs> I'm in the middle of nowhere. This doesn't look like Prague. I don't know where to go. <laughs> My wheel popped. So now I'm just walking, trying to find the location. I left my wheel further back at a coffee shop while I look at where to go because this restaurant is really far from where we were. So now I don't know where I am, but <laughs> hold on just one second, y'all. All right, so I'm trying to find I'm trying to find the Indian place, and that's why it took so long. But um, tell me, are you getting test trolled? <laughs> uh, the day's off. Uh, Fakakaya exploded. The wheel doesn't work anymore. I don't know where I am at the moment. Uh, look, if you look around. It looks, it looks completely unrecognizable. So I need help y'all. Cause I don't know where the hell I am at the moment and where to go from here, guys. This is not good. This is a damn shame. Well, today's been a really wild, wild day and a really wild, wild stream. So, you know, oh, Wait a minute, is that Ocean Spice a Indian Fusion Restaurant? <laughs> is that, is that the Ocean Spice Indian Restaurant? Where they have the best Indian Fusion, authentic Indian Fusion food? <laughs> Wow, what a coincidence. It looks like after all that time, I'm not lost and I found me <laughs> the Ocean Spice Restaurante. Yo, look at the interior of this place, Brie. Oh my God, bro. Are you guys ready for this test troll? Bro, you guys just got test trolled, bro, because this shit is going to be fucking crazy. Dude, look at this, man. Look at it. Oh, what do you know, dude? So far, uh, from what I've heard about this place, I, I'm not even going to do any of the talking because I can't talk about food as passionately as this chef here. And I will tell you guys, um, we're in for a really nice treat. And uh, we're going to start off by walking through the front door. I got y'all. Test <laughs> troll, bruh. So guys, check it out. Look at this place, bruh. Damn. Yeah, we got we got the elephant. Say hello. Hello. Say hello. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, look at the lights here and everything. Wow. Yo, I'm not even lying. Like, this is a huge restaurant. I've rarely been to restaurants this big in Prague, let alone the design of the place. Like, look at the design, man. You see this? Okay, so so it looks like it might have some some internet problems. So uh, let me let me see if I can get a seat, maybe outside because there's some some internet issues. So maybe if we go here, I'm hoping it'll still keep the connection. Uh, is Fakakaya okay? Yes, it is. So we'll so, so really do this. What if I walked in there dressed up authentically Indian? Um, America wouldn't like that very well. I'll tell you that much. But. Here, look at it from here. So this is the corner that I'm gonna sit and I hope that it's gonna have a good connection. 
So it looks like I'm already losing connection here. Yeah, so we're gonna probably have to move a bit. Uh, it's okay, it's doing. Outside is necessary. Hey man, uh, is it okay if I sit in the same corner as before? Cause there's an internet problem uh, on inside. Yeah, so back on out there is fine. Yeah, thanks man. How's the internet doing lags? Well, I got my answer, but in the meantime, I can show you what the internet or the internet, I can show you what the restaurant looks like from the inside. Um, oh my God, my nose. I can't put this on camera, guys. I'm sorry, this has to be done. Okay, it's back. Okay, guys, so from the outside, I'll show you. It's got these beautiful rainbow umbrellas here. Look at that, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Wow, 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 wow. Look at that. Shabam, so pretty. It's got a little backyard here. And man, it's it's really a, a big restaurant, man. And look at the indoors here. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty, like look at this. Wow. Dude, that not that gorgeous though? You know me and aesthetics, man. This is this is beautiful. That's the first thing I noticed about the place, man. It's like like damn. Isn't that amazing? I thought it'd be late, but it's just in time. Yeah, no, this is um I'm a little flustered because of that whole situation earlier, but like, this is a very nice surprise. It's very peaceful. There's not many people out here. The, the restaurant's pretty empty because I'm coming at a pretty empty time. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited to see the food, dude. So the, the restaurant's called Open, Open Spice, Ocean Spice. <laughs> the restaurant's called Ocean Spice. And until you meet Jeffrey the chef, you'll hear his passion about the food and everything that comes in between, man. So, uh, I'm super excited, dude. They're, they're really nice here. And I just, I mean, I can't get over the, get all, I can't get over the overall aesthetics of the place. This right here would be good. So what is this first thing you have here? There's some homemade wine. From homemade wine? This one Ooh. is uh, the recipe of my mother. Okay. Yeah, this one is a pineapple homemade wine. It's fermented for 21 days. Okay. Yeah. It's a very special uh, drink from our place. Cool, cool. Yeah. I will put this down here. So I don't drink it like a shot, right? I take sips of it. Yes. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna, you know, make you appetite. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Well, cheers, man. Cheers. Thanks. <laughs> cheers. Oh, that's great, man. Yeah. Whoa. Can you can you tell me what all things are there inside? Man, you put me on the spot. I, I mean, I couldn't tell you. I know there's. There, you said pineapple, right? Yeah, it's pineapple. There's a bit of spice in there. There is dry chili. Dry chili. Yes, okay. there is dry chilies. There are some spices. It's okay. Like cloves, cinnamon. Okay. And there is one more thing called uh, maize. It's a. Uh, okay. You know, there is a. There is a. Do you want to come here? For the camera too? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> camera shaking. Okay, if you know, you don't have to. You don't yeah. have to, but. So it also have a, a, a thing called maize. It's okay. uh, it's a nutmeg skin. Okay. There's inside the nutmeg, there's a kind of flower kind of thing. Mm. So. I so haven't. It's a blend of all these things. I yeah. haven't tasted anything with this type of flavor, but I really like it. Man. Something similar like kombucha. Yeah. But but yeah, yeah it have a very strong kind of yeah. alcoholic. It's got naturally it. fermented. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's got a we, little we punch over here. We even uh, tried the ginger. Mm. Ginger is really cool. And we also tried the grapes. It's really good, man. Yeah. It's got a punch to it. I, yeah. I never thought I'd like it, but I mean, this is good. This is yeah, really I good, know. man. I know. Damn. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah, man. Okay. Okay. It's a good start. We love. We love to do the fermentations and all those kind of things. You know? Nice. Yeah. Nice. Wow. I'm already impressed. Okay. We start off with one. Drink. Yeah. I will bring this one. Sounds good, man. Damn. Whew. Time to get started. Look at the look at the background, bro. Got my hair flustered like I was rolling through the streets. 
with fucking Kai and the electric unicycle. How you guys doing? I'm a little flustered as you can see. It was just, it was a lot to take in. So now that I got this fermented pineapple cinnamon spice wine, I can chill out for a second. I also got some sparkling water to give myself a little refresher. Mmm, delicious. Whew. How you guys doing? You guys doing good? I'm doing good. I'm doing much better now. Like this is great. The sun's on my face, but it's good lighting. It's a little hot. But so am I. You know what I mean? Pineapple homemade wine. My mom knows how to make it, but somehow different recipe. Ginger wine. You know, this is a this is a flavor from a a wine or a liquor that I'm not used to, but I'm actually quite surprised that I like it because I usually drink different types of things. So this is this is good, man. Uh, you're not still not over the trolling. Baby boy was love. God, you guys got test troll. It was the same way that uh, Max randomly showed up, <laughs> and I was like, God, Max, he just he's terrible. Never, never, never. I look like Mowgli in the jungle. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, please don't give me internet problems, guys. Not right now. Uh, okay, is it better? Okay. All right. So, it might lag every once in a while. Maybe if I put the camera a bit more in the shade here, it'll prevent the, the sun from heating it too much. Um, Mowgli, who needs battery when you got much? I can see we're still having lag problems. Yeah, if it's a... Uh... Oh, shit. I hope it doesn't like... Let's see if we move it here. Maybe it's better. How, how is it from your, your guys' side? Did you bring your full mukbang appetite there, showcase? Yeah, they're gonna bring courses and they're gonna kind of like walk through every meal that they'll give, which is super amazing. I can't wait, Bree. Uh, you look like Adam with clothes on. Dude, I look like Mowgli in the jungle. <laughs> I'm just I'm definitely like a, a, a feral child walking into a jungle with fine dining and everything, you know? Glitter Bomb just walked in for a second. My mom shares processing. Miss you too, Glitter Bomb. Hope you're doing well. It's fine. Intermittent glitching. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the, the counter for the stream and it's hopping all over the place. So I'm hoping that maybe, I mean, we might just have to go outside. I'm not sure. Let's see if I just like fiddle around with it, see what happens. Five course meal, I have no idea. Uh, punk in the cyberpunk in the jungle. Dude, I pop up in random places all the time because that's how it goes. Should I tell my crush that I love her? Take it easy, play it cool. Don't let her know right away. <laughs> You're being nurtured by the peace of nature and the sun. Okay. We got good frame right now. This is good. I think we're doing okay. Uh, look at all the ferns. Yee -yee. Oh, this is this is a beautiful restaurant, man. Like I'm really impressed with already the interior, and this wine is already really good. They're gonna serve some soup first, and I think it's gonna be a mildly spicy soup, but I'm all good. I think it's great. I feel like I'm there. I can't wait to see the food. Good. This is good. We can have a nice. Lovely dinner together, my friends. It's gonna be great. Indian restaurants are my treat yourself. Trees will do anything for attention these days. Uh, shit. There you go. It was a little crooked. Why? There it is. That's much better. I'm literally cooking and washing this in the kitchen. Are you cooking Indian food too? Should I? Man, I'm like wondering if I should just bring it outside because the because the internet seems to be weird. Cheers, P. Cheers, my friends. Me, Squidward. I was expecting you to be by the whole family, but this is better as if like you're a normal customer, but not normal. <laughs> like I was gonna be around all of my peeps, like a whole gang or what? 
Hmm. It's a bit choppy. Uh, should I move? Because it is, it seems to be cutting a little bit. So maybe, maybe it's better to just go in the back and then maybe get a seat with all the umbrellas. Hey, Pete, it's been a while. What's going on? J42 Bizzle. Nastravi. Cheers, my friends. I can finally, like, cool off after that last <laughs> few hours. It was the last hour and a half. Okay, let me, I would move. Okay. All right, I'm gonna move. Uh, I'm gonna see, I think it might be better out here. You can see the umbrellas too. Yeah, maybe, maybe out here. This door. Should I go back? Okay, yeah, let's go back. Okay, it's, it seems to be okay. It, it might even be an overheating issue. I don't know what it is, but it seems to be okay in the meantime. Back into the jungle, Mowgli. It was better inside. Lags can happen either end. Yeah, you're back. Let's okay, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Can I call you Peter? Yes, go yeah. for it, man. What can I call you? I can do call me Abhijit. I Abhijit. It's difficult, I know. Thank you very much. <laughs> Damn, that looks so, awesome. Look at that. And I move push over there. Okay, let me get a zoom in on here. Wow. So this is basically a uh, tulsi poached prawns with okay. some salsa and basil oil. Wow. That... It will just open up your palate for the coming courses. Fancy, okay. <laughs> cool, man. Awesome. <laughs> now I'll follow you with the uh, oligatoni soup. Okay. For the soup, and then I will have uh, some spicy. Hopefully you okay. like spicy, right? For <laughs> now, we'll see what happens. With a glass of milk, I hope. <laughs> yeah, let's maybe get some water or something. It's okay. <laughs> oh, I enjoy it. Thank you very much. Cool. Damn, look at that. That looks awesome, man. This uh, this is some like fine dining shit you know what i mean bro look at that brie oh shit that is gonna be some fine dining we're gonna take a scoop of this like let's go i gotta do it with the with the camera on the other hand you guys get to see this in slow motion bro mm, it's that fine dining you know what i mean small portions but you gotta pack it with flavor here it is You know what? I was talking over. Now I was like stuttering and being a, a stuttering mess earlier because I haven't got any food after all that. And now that I have a bite of this, dude, I'm already back in action. This is super fucking good. Oh my god, bro! What? Oh, put put that cilantro, that cilantro in this. Oh Jesus! Oh my god, there's time. That is so good. Brie. Oh my god, that is super good. You might be like, Pierre, you must be exaggerating because you got invited to this restaurant. But that means you haven't even seen me eat food before. Because if I eat good food, that's how I go about it. That's fucking great. I will eat the rest of the cilantro on its own, dude. <clears throat> there it is. Oh my god, bro. Dude, I could just eat that as a salad, man. Dude, that, that is super good. Sheesh! Thank you for the collective growth. We should do this more just for the tip, bro. Oh my god. Scotty, thank you very much. Oh, I was just hungry. That's why I was so anxious and flustered earlier. I just haven't eaten enough. Not getting enough nutrients, man. Damn. That's super good. Thanks, Scotty. Oh my god, bro. That is fucking delicious. Okay. Calm down, Pierre. It was just two bites of food. Sheesh. 
The lighting's good though, it's overcast. Man, that was so good. I loved it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ooh, we what have is some this? drinks for you. Okay. Whiskey Sour Ocean Spice. Whiskey Sour Ocean Spice, like the name of the restaurant. Yes. Awesome, man. Thank you. Well, right, let's finish this one first and then we'll get to the Ocean Spice drink. You know, it feels good to live like a prince. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying like, bruh, I didn't, I didn't think about it, but man, living like a prince ain't so bad. I'm out in here in the jungle. I just am missing a crown and a gold chain. That's all I need, Brit. Oh my God. Oh, shit. Oh. Who has social anxiety in real life, but enjoys interacting with people in a super relaxed, effortless way? I hope, I hope people with social anxiety can take something out of these streams because I used to be a socially anxious person but I just learned over the years to how to chill the fuck out and learn how to talk to people. Bruh. Mmm. We're dining with Prince Frog Tard und Uben Floppen. Mmm. Mmm. Motherfucker, man. I'm already, I feel, I feel great already. This is already super good. Mmm. Oh. All right. Ocean What's this spice. guy? Ocean spice. Mulaga twenty soup. Dang. Okay. Ooh. It doesn't look like soup yet. Ah, uh, now it does. <laughs> it's a piece of art. Yes, that's what it looks like. All the presentation yeah. is very beautiful. Maybe use the other camera here. So uh, basically, <laughs> this one is uh, Mulaga twenty soup. It's our ocean spice soup so made with a uh, uh, chili mm. coconut milk okay and a lemongrass galangal flavor and also we have two dumplings which is made with shrimps oh my god no way yes and a tempura fried inoki oh my god the, the last thing you gave me uh with the prawns on the shell yeah it's super uh, good it's it's oh something. man it's great man yes Okay, anything else I should know before uh, I... We, uh, we just finish it with some uh, coriander and uh, some chili oil. Okay. Uh, we, we used to say it, uh, rogan. Okay. Rogan means the chili oil. Okay. So it's a special kind of chili oil and some cilantro. Yummy, man. Wow, this looks super good. You're gonna enjoy it. Okay, <laughs> gonna I can't it. wait. If I'm screaming over here, it's no, no it's problem, not right? It's not spicy. No, no, in a good way. Like, oh my God, because <laughs> that's fine, what I was fine. earlier. So. Absolutely fine, it's absolutely fine. Okay, there's no noise limit. Okay, that's yeah, good. Yeah. Thanks, man. Cool. All right, it's time. Are you guys ready? This looks super good. All right. It's that Joe Rogan right here, man. You know what I mean, bro? Okay, here we go. That's, that's Chef Jeffrey. He has a girlfriend, okay? I just talked to her. They're both fans of me and I have to present myself. I think that's what it is. I, a part of me just also feels pressured to like paint my best face right now. So I'm a little like, gotta make a good impression. <laughs> okay, here we go. You ready for this? Mm. Okay, so this is the soup. So we're just gonna taste the soup on its own. I don't want it to burn my tongue right now. Whoa. Whoa, hold on, hold on. Brie, brie, brie. Brie, oh my God, brie. Oh my God, hold on. Okay, so this is the thing. I haven't really gotten many opportunities to eat Indian food. There, for some reason, there wasn't many Indian places in California growing up. And the only Indian food that I've seen out here, sorry to say, it was Bombay Express, which was good too. I really like Indian food, apparently. This is really good, man. Um, the type of taste that I get from Indian food is unlike a lot of foods that I've had before. This is like a sweet and sour curry sauce 
Dude, I can't, I can't put it into words, man. I'm gonna be terrible. I'm gonna sound like a pretentious idiot or like somebody who doesn't know what the hell they're talking about. I just wanna say I really like this, dude. This is really, really good. Damn, hold on. Bro, that's so good. It's like a sweet, milky, buttery soup with, with like a hint of sour. I gotta eat it with the, the fried dumplings on this. Let's, I'll show you guys here. Oh my God, look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Let's, let's go for it. Mmm. <laughs> Bro, oh my Yo, I could drink this soup I could drink this soup And you put the shrimp dumpling in the middle of it We got that crunch, bruh We get the crunch with the shrimp And the soup and the soup And it's sweet and the sour is milky And buttery, it's so fucking good, bruh you know, I'm so glad no one's on the seat right now because I can actually like let loose now. I'm feeling the first shot of the pineapple fermented wine. I'm loose. I don't want, I can't have a tree fall on me today. Maybe I can, I don't know, man, but that's so fucking good. Like it's delicious, man. I'm gonna need a stretcher after this. Dude, oh, this is super fucking good, man. You in that soup, I need a room, feel like I'm interrupting something. I asked permission from the chef that I can make noises, okay? So I'm gonna make some noises over here, you feel me? Gotta get that Ocean Spice Whiskey Sour here. Oh, man. Oh, man. Bruh. Bruh. Oh, my God, it's so good. Oh, Jesus. Dude, this is super good. This is super good. And I might get drunk really quick. You remember how to say soup in Czech? Man's always losing his shit over some type of soup, bruh. Superman? <laughs> Fuck. Pair nicely with the food. Yeah, it's pretty good, man. I mean... Damn. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna. Oh, up here, chef warned. I warned the chef with the noises, but we're gonna maybe like, no, fuck it. We gotta just get a big, big ass scoop of this. We gotta get, I don't even know how to eat this. Hold on. Yo, this, this place is pretty far outside of the city center, but dude, it's really, really good, man. Mmm. Oh. oh, man. Man, what's going on with the internet? Lag on the slurping. Is the internet okay? That was a very private moment. I'll try to turn up the kilobytes per second maybe and then see if it works any better. I don't know, but this is super good, baby. You good now? Okay, cool. I'm gonna keep slurping this bitch because it's super fucking good. Dude, why is the internet? Don't mess with me. A bit further back, maybe. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, move it there. Oh, shit. Put my whole face in the soup. We gotta get that dumpling, bro. Get that dumpling. Mmm. Breathe. 
Oh my god. It's like the food is flipped. Dude, it flipped my mind, bro. My mind is gonna flip by this food. Bro. Oh, I'm so hungry, it's only 11 a.m. Dude, this is the best, man. This is the fucking best. I love this. This is super good. Mm. Oh my god. I will drink this like a smooth. Don't do this, baby. Don't do this. Don't lag on me. Okay. If if it fully lags, it might be it might be an overheating issue. If it does, I will uh just maybe give a five minute break here. And then start again. Eating in slow motion. I'm back, y'all. Okay, so it, it really does seem like mo mostly an overheating issue. Uh, it's not data. It's just that it gets too hot. And then the whole fucking thing just like cuts out because it's too warm. So uh, yeah, it doesn't seem in general to actually be an internet problem or reception problem. Too much spice, baby. Cheers, everybody. We got that whiskey sour. Let's go. Guys, I already finished all the courses. I already finished all of the food. It's been good. Uh, the stream's over, so I'll see you guys a bit later. Too much bussin' overeating issue. Yeah, so we're gonna get the main courses out here, bruh. What's going on, man? Telecon. We're bussin' for 20 minutes nonstop. Have an ice pack in the house. You were bussin' for so long. I hope you're okay. <laughs> Laramore, you got some you got some comments. They're funny. You got some funny comments. We get to see you burping course. Yeah, like right now I'm not really having any internet problems, so it's just an overheating issue. My phone was really hot when I took it out too. So uh Man, if there was just like some sort of fucking fan that I could just put on the phone, it would it would be excellent for this type of thing. I've been bussing with him. <laughs> Bus boy came before the meal was over. <laughs> I thought you were serious to learn try to support here even without me. Nah, nah. You are busting in the sixth dimension, the 69th dimension. You get a t-shirt, bus and everything. Dude, this place is great. Uh, when the phone was cooling down, Jeffrey the chef came out and started talking about the food. He's an artist with food. The way that he talks about food is like really psychological, man. He's talking about the food like he wants to change how we perceive food and the presentation and the tastes. It's not even about taste, it's about how you can manipulate how the mind perceives food. And he wants to make types of things that haven't been made before and do things that isn't just purely traditional. And I'm like, bro, it's just, it's really amazing to see passion in people, regardless of what they're passionate about, dude. Like when people pour their heart into something that they love, it's really awesome. Um, and I was like, that's how I view life sometimes, man. And we'll get along just fine. I'm glad you told me to come to your restaurant because we can relate quite well. Uh, culinary metaphors. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm super impressed. Dude. Like, damn, the food busting. Busting. Watching anyone in their element is my favorite thing. Yeah, man. Yeah, he talks about food like he's a wizard, man. It's really crazy. That's why the soup looked Thai. Yeah, it's a uh, fusion food out here. Ooh, damn, that looks incredible. Let's take a look at that. Food is ready. This Ooh. is duck vindaloo. So this is duck vindaloo. Okay. Maharanina. Maharanina. This is the rice. And that's the thing, what I was Maybe saying, we should move this out of the way. Yeah. 
Yes. Wow. It's a salmon treasure. It's the buried treasure of salmon. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. Damn. Enjoy your food. Thank you very much, man. <laughs> Thank so you. Basically, uh, Tak is is uh, as I told you before, it's a Portuguese Indian uh, invention. It's uh, made with a bunch of spices. Okay. Lots of spices. Uh, the spices. The, the 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 most important thing is uh, Vindalu spices are are pickled, basically. Okay. So they soak the the spices like chili red chili garlic ginger and lots of other things they soak it in vinegar and oil and keep it for the overnight and next day you blend it you blend it and cook the the meat okay in the spices. so i made it a little bit less spicy for you and uh the the salmon treasure basically uh as i told you before it's uh, it's from the south part of india from kerala it's also known as mean pollution okay mean pollution means uh fish inside uh like like big fish okay it's, it's made with uh, a lot of red onions some chili and some tomatoes some coconut milk coconut cream amazing and uh maharani naan is one of the legendary naan awesome especially made for you yeah yeah <laughs> so hell yeah it's 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 a special dishes from our ocean spice you know okay yes amazing man yeah. oh exactly. i'm super excited thanks jeffrey you're most welcome. You're most thank welcome. you for everything man thank you <laughs> awesome wow okay where do i begin man where do i begin uh what part of india uh, he's from the south he just told me kerala 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 K-E-R-A-L-A. -A. I think that's where he's from. Um, check it out, guys. So I'm, I'm pretty unfamiliar with Indian food in general. So I, I, a lot of this stuff is like really new to me still. And it's more than a pleasant surprise to taste some of these things because I, ha I haven't tried these things before. So cheers, my friends. Mmm. Oh, there's the kick, though. Oh, shit. <sighs> okay, that's fucking good. But it's also got the spice, Brie. The Vindalu is spicy. It's got some fire. <laughs> oh, shit. It's fucking good. But let's just say, it got some fire. You know, I mean, I got to give me some extra sparkling water for that shit. That is fucking spicy, but it's really good, though. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, like garlic naan though. Oh my god. We got the garlic naan. Get another bite of this Vindalu with the spice, bruh. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Super good. Super fucking good. Damn. But I would like another water, please, because I, my, my whole face will burn very soon. Okay, let's try this one here. Unfortunately, all the names that he gave me are really hard to pronounce, so I can't really remember much, unfortunately. So, eating it with the naan will make it less spicy. Okay, but, oh, is that fish? Mmm. Oh my motherfucking god, dude. Oh, it's about that. He called it the buried treasure fish. Oh my god. I found the booty, y'all. Oh, that's super good. That's where it is. Yo, that fish. That goddamn fish. We're gonna put it with the naan. Let's put it with the naan. Let's put it with the naan free. Yeah. Let's put it with the naho. Oh my. Dude. 
sued. That's where it's at, bro. Oh my god. Okay, now let's try the let's try the spicy duck. No. Let's try it with the non bread. Maybe it won't kill me as much. Mmm. 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 It's much better. It's much better with the uh, the non bread. I can handle it now. It's good. I got used to it. I got acclimated. It's good, man. Already kicked some ass, dude. It's got it's got a kick though. That's a straight up fucking <clears throat> left hook straight to the fucking chin, dude. Oh my god. It's giving me enough for two mukbangs. The name of this place is called Ocean Spice. Uh, it's a bit further out from the city center, but I will say it's worth it. I will genuinely say I would probably come here on my own time. The interior design is fucking amazing, and the food is really, really good, man. And just, just for the sake of the fact that the chef is super passionate about what he's making, his name is Jeffrey, uh, it's very, it's just really hard to meet people in general with a passion for things. And the way that he talks about making food and traveling, it's really, really refreshing to hear. And uh, he, you, can, you can see it in the food too. Like he genuinely wants to change the face of food, man. Then, you know, you, you can't teach somebody that type of passion. So you can, you can directly see the translation into the food that they have here, man. It's fucking good. It's really, really fucking good. Mmm. 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 Fuck. Hail Jeffrey, man. He's great. Great dude, man. Really friendly, really awesome. Mm. Man, they treat me. They treat me too nice, man. So nice to see you somewhere else than Bombay Express. <laughs> Yeah, you know, sometimes you just don't have a choice. You just end up somewhere, right? This man's an artist for show. Sure. Let's give me some of this, this the, the salmon. Fucking salmon, bro. Mmm. 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 I'm sweating from the spice, but it's super good, man. Mmm. Oh, fuck, that's super good, man. We got some rice, too. Gonna mix some rice with the salmon here. Mmm. Cooling fans that gamers use for their phone? Uh, maybe. I just hope it's not loud. I'll, I'll, I'll check it out. Chefs would explain the regional difference on the food. I hear Vietnam is like that too. Yeah, the thing is when the camera was off, he got into detail about the origins of Indian food, the differences between the North and South India, spices, all this shit. And uh, it's really good. It's great. Can I, uh, can I just get another water, please? Another water, yeah. Yes, thanks, man. Uh, Yeah, once you get used to the spicy, it's good. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit more acclimated to it now. <clears throat> but at first, that duck definitely was a punch in my fucking balls. But <sighs> spice creates life. The spice creates consciousness. I guess if I'm living spice myself, I got to be able to eat the spice. You feel me? Is this feather or dot Indian? What does that mean? Uh, like they included the Portuguese influence. I didn't know he had cousins in India. Uh, man, I don't know. I, I really like it here. I mean, just, just the overall design of the place and how it feels here and how nice everyone is. Dude, look, like, look at the what's around and then look what's behind me. It's like, it feels like a portal to somewhere else. Like no other part of Prague looks like this, especially in this part of town. And then boom. Like you have this authentic Indian tradition, the Indian fusion restaurant. Like what the hell? Uh, it's 
portal to paradise. I'm gonna check my phone. Okay, it seems like it's a little hot, but if it lags, then it lags. Do you enjoy it? It's amazing. Guyanese mostly influenced by Southern Indian food. Half of the country is descended from Indian indentured workers, so I'm loving this day. Oh man. I love it, man. I, I never really had the opportunity to really eat Indian food. And I'm really happy that this is like existing. Mmm. Mmm. The fish. The fish with the non bread, dude. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh, Jesus. Mm. God damn. Mm. Mm. Thanks, man. So, which one is the best? This one or that one? I really like the fish. The fish is super good, man. Yes. This is really good too. It's a bit spicy, but it's really good. This is not the spicy which you you're used to this. Eat. I'm not used to this, man. <laughs> okay. okay. So, but it's but, delicious. Yeah. I can eat it. It's fine. Like no problem. But like, it's both really, really good, man. Thank you very much. I love it, man. Thank you. Enjoy it. Thank you. Is it better? Can you see me now? I hope it is. Oh, fuck. I'm already getting full, bro. They gotta give me dessert, bro. Shit. Damn. Okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta finish as much as I can, though. Hmm. Hey, you need a real date. Why? Why do I need a real date? I'm thoroughly satisfied. I'm feeling pretty good, man. I'm feeling really good. Is it pita? No, it is uh, non bread. It's really good. Um, do they have ocean barbecue? Uh, what is Orient bar? Korean. Oh, uh, I think so. I think they have a little bit of everything here. Uh, is it still freezing? Do I need another break? Ah, oh, fuck. I might have to make another break, man. The phone just keeps overheating, Bree. Other Susan or Apple won't let Pierre be great. No, it's the it's the overheating of the phone, bruh. Is it fine? It's working? Okay. Cool. Tea's okay. Oh my god, I'm getting full fuck. I gotta save room for dessert, bruh. Dang. As for a glass of ice, you rest the phone every once in a while, maybe. I, there's needs to be a way around it. I just don't know what it is. Um, I can't keep doing these breaks. Either you want to see, you don't. That's what keeps you coming back though, right? <laughs> Would a streaming camera be better regarding of overheat issues? Um, sort of, but the thing is, is that a streaming camera usually needs Wi-Fi 
and why this works is because I can use the 5G phone data in order to stream it. The streaming cameras, I don't know if they can connect to phone data. You know what I mean? So that's that's the biggest problem. Damn cloth out in the back of the phone. Maybe, I don't know. If there's a portable fan, I don't know. But we'll see what happens. Love from the Bronx, shout out to the Bronx. Um, Amalthea, not now. <laughs> We're at a beautiful place already, so let's enjoy it here. Uh, dude, I love any of you. The spices are effing up my stomach because the niece is sensitive, that's why. Mm. Okay. Uh, if it happens again, I might, I'm, I'm gonna have to get another fucking break, bro. If it lags a bit, don't forget to enjoy yourself. No, it's great. It's fucking awesome, man. Mm. Mm. Bring an Ibobu umbrella into the stream with a built-in fan. I need to squirt water all over my phone. How about that? Mm. Damn, it's super good though. Finish all the fish though. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Interrupted by a portable smoothie commercial. Should I? It looks it looks like we have to take a break again. <laughs> Fuck the. The phone just keeps overheating, man. I feel like I live fifty dimensions at the same time with the lag. Do they make phone coolers? Uh, when there should be a product that someone should invent and I will sponsor, I will, I will be gladly able to advertise that. How about that? Okay, uh, should I, should I take a break for the camera, guys? Or, you're handling spice pretty well. I usually cry, my nose is running like crazy. Yo, I'm telling you, like, it's pretty good. I can handle it okay. But, I mean, imagine for the Czech people here, they're not going to be able to handle the spice, right? I got kicked out again. This is shows me that you look tired. I'm tired because today was fucking crazy, and then this also whiskey sour is kind of floating in my stomach. It's gonna stay dry. I hope so. Clouds are questionable, but it should be okay. You got ads? Okay, we're gonna take a break. see me now I hope so hello 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 we good okay so I changed the settings lowered the quality a little bit um, so it should be okay 
I put the audio quality a bit down, turned down the frame rate quite a bit, so I'm hoping that it gives me a bit more time before it fucking blows the fuck up. Still got the food here. I'm just taking my time because I'm getting kind of full already, but uh, you know. It is what it is, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's super smooth now, is it? Looks like it, cool. Looks like I just had to lower the quality a little bit. Mmm, yummy. Mmm. Mmm. Where's the restaurant? I'll go there when you're not there, I'm not telling you. The restaurant's called Go Ocean Spice. If the spicy is not for you, eat from other things more. I would have never thought of that. What a suggestion. I think uh, spicy food's okay. Uh, I like a little kick, but some things are just way too spicy, you know? So it's all good. Still at 1080. Yeah, I just changed the frame rate and the audio quality, so maybe that, that's gonna do better. Who knows? Uh, hello, I hope you're enjoying that feast, dude, the three-way feasting. Dude, it's great. It's really, really good. I'm just getting it's a little full pretty quickly, but I'm going to try to at least eat the, the main courses. I'm not try to stuff myself with bread too much. Mmm. Smooth now. What's up, Hot Street? Mmm. I was just reading an article about regional Indian cuisine. The type of food makes so much sense when, with the climate. Imagine the duck was from inland, fish was closer by the sea. Yeah, that's true. But also, what doesn't make sense is that, why the fuck is Indian food so spicy when it's like the hottest climate? There, I bet you there's a real answer to that. I don't know what it is, but I bet you it's an actual thing. Um, I'm sober now, but I love you. Okay, you know what? That's more of a worry. If people tell you that they love you when they're drunk, it makes sense. When they say it when they're sober, it's something that they really think about. <laughs> What's to keep from the meat rotting? Yeah, it's like to preserve it out, right? Sweat the dirt out, keep the meat rotting, something like that. I don't know. I don't know. But I guess it could make sense. Uh... And if you need the spice to increase the blood flow and wake up so they don't pass out in the heat in the sun. Really? Really? Is that really? You sure? That's, that's interesting if that's the case. Uh, there's a theory that spice helps down the heat by making you sweat, cools your body. In Japan, they drink warm curry in the summer to cool down. Wait, how does that work? Eating spicy when you're really hot makes your temperature cool. What? Hot food causes sweat. Sweat makes cooling. But you see, the problem is, is that now you're sweating. <laughs> and I hate the sensation of sweating, dude. So which one is better? Do you, do you just deal with overheating with little sweat? Or I guess if you're gonna sweat anyway, then it's gonna be okay, yeah? up the corporate playlist it feels like i'm in the middle of a mall well then go pay for your own fucking indian dinner <laughs> i swear to god if i had a date and, and the date said some shit like that i'd be like you see that's where you live now go <laughs> uh because when you sweat it releases toxins yeah i just i don't like sweating man it's actually the, one of the big reasons why I've, I've put off uh, going to Southeast Asia. It's just, I, I don't like dealing with heat like that, man. 
even though it's supposed to be in my blood being southern vietnamese but i'm, I'm too fucking domesticated got too much air conditioning in california yeah feel me all right time to hit up this fucking what what, what was this duck dish called vindaroo mm. If you take a cold shower and drink cold beverages, your body heat reacts by warming up more afterwards? Really? I didn't know that. Heat in Egypt is nice because it's dry and not moist. I don't, dude. Dry heat's pretty shitty, but it's better than moist heat, bruh. I only deal with moist heat for about 30 minutes on average. <laughs> and then that's it, you know what I mean? Maybe five minutes if it's a bad day. Um, are you okay, Pierre? It's a bit spicy and I'm also drinking a bit of alcohol. So um, it makes me semi inebriated, if that makes sense. Take a warm shower. I'll do it right in the restaurant if I need to. Natural yogurt is nice with curry. Come. Dude, the good thing today, the good thing is, guys, look what I brought today. I still got dessert coming, bro. Mm. You see this? Hey, shit. I'm gonna eat this shit right now, dude, because I know my, I'm gonna go crazy later, man. This is like uh, Tom's. Good idea, the medley of spices will require the Rennie or I'll get the runs. Get the Rennie for the runs. Dude, I'm full swap. Yeah, that's a savior. I brought it. I brought it because of this. When I drank that one smoothie, it's crazy. I can eat this Indian food with all these spices and all these things, and I'm like, I'll do okay. I drink one vegan smoothie and I want to die. Oh. When I was stationed in Saudi Arabia, it was like 120 degrees. It was bearable because it was dry heat. Dude, props to you, Mr. Cortez. I respect anybody who's willing to put through, go through that discipline and deal with stuff, shit like that. I will say it does make me feel like a little pussy, though. But um, you know how it goes. The way your stomach reacts is how my skin is. No one believes I have allergies until everything my skin bugs out. Oh, motherfucker, man. It's really thin there. Let me eat this last piece. Cheers, my friends. Mmm. seems to be doing better it's good is there another course hell no dude there's no way i can eat it there's just a well actually yes there's dessert there's dessert left guys um i have a bunch of kids looking at me right now and they're on their skateboards and stuff man Super good. I think I'm done, man. I ate as much as I could. Thank you very much. It was a uh, very good support from you. Like <laughs> you finished a lot of foods. Yes, I'm really full, but it was excellent, man. Thank you. And uh, 
something was spicy for you or something was you know actually uh, this the first bite was pretty spicy but after that i was okay like yeah. i can i can eat it now and it's like not a problem. it's not it's not like that spicy now no yeah it's it's much better now but the first bite i was like whoa okay <laughs> and then after i'm like all right okay i can deal with it so, man it's excellent super good the naan bread is really good too thank you very much thank you <laughs> so can i clean those you things? can you can take whatever you need to take thank you thanks man You're welcome <laughs> There will be dessert as well. Let's go. I'm just gonna stand outside, get some fresh air for a second. Damn, Bree. Time to fart. <laughs> I'm gonna fart this out. Oh my god. Whew. Thanks for bringing this along and all this beautiful dinner. You're welcome. I'm happy that I can even have this opportunity to eat this and, and not only that, share it with y'all, man. Now run. <laughs> This restaurant is called o Ocean Spice. Indichka. Restaurante. Oh my god. Guys, I ate too much. I, I don't know if I'll be able to eat a dessert, bro. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> and the pressure. The pressure, bro. <laughs> the bro gonna finish the fucking dessert, bro. Oh my god, bro. I'm gonna explode, bro. Oh, shit. Uh, well, thanks. You showed it. I know where it is. Yeah, well, everybody should know where it is. That's why I'm here today. I'm here to give some love to Ocean Spice. Go check it out. It's fucking great. It, it's worth... It's it's not in the city center, but it's definitely worth the travel just because uh, the I, I really love the people here and the aesthetics and everything is really nice. Ooh. Get the farts out before I get back in, bro. No, it's not even about farting, bro. It's more like the the volume of food is 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 uh, it's quite a lot, man. Uh, how my nips, my nip nops are doing nip nops. I'm a lady, but it's okay. My name is Emily. Okay, sorry. I assumed that you were. I assumed your gender. Please don't cancel me. Trust me. There's rainbow. Uh, there's rainbow umbrellas behind me. Don't cancel me. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Emily. Hope you're doing well, Emily. Uh, don't fart too hard, it might lag. Well, the internet's doing a bit better now. It looks like by just by lowering the quality of everything, it, it's, uh, it's able to handle it a bit better. That's good. Um, tomorrow your skin will smell. Bro, I already smell. Uh, say about a rainbow umbrella, see? See that, bro? I want dessert. Dude, I don't know if I'll be able to finish the dessert, whatever it is. I'll eat like maybe one or two bites, bro. I, I'm gonna, I think I'm way too fucking full. Oh my God. Am I rushing the dinner? I'm not rushing. I'm Vietnamese. <laughs> Fucking dumb. That I done it was early in November. Whoa. What for fuck's sake? <laughs> uh one or two bites bring the rest home. I got no room now. Food busting, yo. These are the jokes I came and stay for. It was early in November I just thought it'd be a one night stand da -da 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 -da. 
Should have used the Russian to help you get all that food. Yeah, it would be cool, but he was working. And on top of that, I didn't want to be like, hey, can you can you serve five of my fucking friends? <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> I see those colored lips. The acai look great on me. Thank you. Uh, I, uh, I can't fucking see straight. <laughs> Oh, fucking hell, man. That food got me fucked up. It was really good, though. Damn. Um, thank you very much, Linda. Thanks for the date. It was super sweet. I appreciated the experience secondhand. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Are you going to be able to roll home? Well, I'm glad I'm not walking. Or maybe it's better to walk. Dude, I'm far as fuck. I don't even know how to get back from here. Shit. <sighs> it's about to be food coma time. I got the itis. <laughs> we just got kicked out of a tour bus with all the Pondalox by. <laughs> hey guys, uh, my bandmates were tired of my bullshit. They're sick of my bullshit. They look at my boat, is it? You have to walk. No, I got my wheel, bro. Uh, why do you make money from this chat? Because I'm sexy. Uh, how far away is the wheel? Uh, it's like 30 miles away from here. No, I'm kidding. It's in the restaurant. I was just fucking around the early, earlier in the stream. Yeah, it was food for like three people. Damn. Yeah, that was, that was two main courses, plus... A appetizer soup and then a palate opener, which was super good. Whatever the fuck that was was really good too. I thought Fakakaya was hurting. I, don't know. I was fucking around with y'all. Oh shit. I'm full. <laughs> I'm full. Oh my god. God dang. Uh, bloated. I'm bloated. I'm in bloat city. Yay. Who comes the live stream to pocket watch? What is pocket watch? What does that mean? How do you manage to make me hungry? Because I make food look really good. Uh, if you're able to walk, you ain't done it right. Don't fall asleep at the wheel. <sighs> Baby, I got the itis. <laughs> Baby, I got the itis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Baby, I got the itis. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Baby, I got the itis. Tonight, this was a little bit of too much food. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Bridget Boyer. Was that a super chat? I guess it was. Thank you. An herbal tea. The wheel. Well, oh, happy 4th of July, everybody. <laughs> happy 4th of July. They already came out with the dessert. Yeah, we can check and see. see. Uh, who, yeah, uh, it's a little safe haven. Okay, yeah, there's no dessert there. Okay, I still got some time. I just need some fresh air out here, bro. Baby, I got the idea. Yeah. Baby, I got the itis. Yeah. Dude, I should make a like an emo song. Or like a Lana Del Rey yearning romantic song about me getting the itis. Uh, what what does pocket watching mean? Someone educate me. What the fuck does that mean? The silently watching from indoors, are you singing in circles to the camera? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Pocket watchers, people try to count how much money you make. They're watching the money going into your pocket. How how would you use that in like another setting though? Like, um, do people do that? Someone who keeps tabs on your finances? Is that like more of a relationship situation that is how that happens? 
Okay, it's 8.11, bro. Okay, I see, I see. Uh, strip of locker rooms. I got the itis touch. Oh, the itis touch. I got the lightest and the itis touch. Yay. When did I return? I've always been here, baby. It's you that's leaving. How? <laughs> I am. Sheesh, bro. Dude, I, 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 don't, I don't know if I could eat that dessert. I'm serious. Like, I'm a fucking collapse, bro. I wash the pocket and make sure there's enough to pay for dinner. Yes, people do it. Broke haters do it. People worry about how I pay for travel. And I say, stop pocket watch and mind your business. Damn, okay. Shimon. Shimon. You know what I'm in the mood for right now? You know what, the, what kind of mood I'm in after all this food? <sighs> I'm in the mood. Nine o'clock, home alone. <laughs> Paging you, wishing you come over my place. After work, let me know. It's too much fucking Indian food, I'm gonna collapse. Yeah. And pass out. <laughs> Just getting some fresh air, man. I'm so full. Oh my god, this food is great. Thank you. All right. Oh, what? Look at that. Oh my god, what? Wow. That's amazing. Introduce our chefs. All right. Introduce. This is BG. Hello. Marshall. And Legion. Legion. And Abhijit. You already meet. Damn, team of five, huh? Yeah, there's one more. Nah, there's one more. Today, yeah. Okay, he's off yeah. today. <laughs> Excellent. The, the food was amazing, man. Thank you so much. I tried finishing everything and I wish I could eat more, but my stomach is only <laughs> so big. But it was delicious. I, I really love the, the the treasure fish. What do you call it? Uh, Salmon treasure. Yes, that's really good, man. That was excellent, dude. And uh, the the first bite of the duck was spicy, mm -hmm. and then I got used to it, and then it was okay. <laughs> I wish I could eat spicier, man. <laughs> I know. For you guys, it's probably like you can't even taste it, huh? <laughs> that's super good. Of course, you have to try some real spicy food too, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, it's part of the flavor, right? So, yeah. So, so after that first bite, I was fine. Yeah, but yeah man you, you opened you opened me up to these flavors man I, i've rarely tasted anything like this yes, 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 so yes. thank you for that it's delicious happy fourth of july, happy 4th of july. <laughs> <laughs> you know which i told everybody i was like oh there's nothing more american than this holiday that i will go to an indian <laughs> restaurant <laughs> yeah that's what i said I and i was yeah, I was gonna say it's okay. I'm gonna get hamburger another time. This was much better than a hamburger, man. And uh, yeah, well, happy Fourth of July, guys. <laughs> cool, man. So, what is this? Can you explain here? So this is a dessert which is called a uh, bundi parfait. Okay. Uh, so bundi is basically something which we eat during uh, auspicious times, like some festivals and all these good times. We okay. use bundi. It is made with some flour which is deep fried and mixed in sugar syrup. Okay. So there is uh, bundi, the orange thing. The orange thing bundi. is bundi. Okay, the bundi. White is basically a cheesecake uh, cream. Okay. It's basically a fr fr French, of, French Indian collaboration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing, man. And this little layers of bundi, layers of cream, layers cream. of pistachio. Cream, pistachio. cool. And I like this, con the presentation for everything is really unique too. It's really awesome. Hey, let's get all in this stream together. You guys can say hello to everybody here. Hi. <laughs> hey. Hey. Ocean Spice, right? Ocean Spice, yeah. Ocean Spice. Ocean Spice gang right here. What's <laughs> up? Let's go! Hey, hey, hey! Ocean Spice! <laughs> awesome. All right. I'm going to start on this dessert here and let you guys know how it is. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Thank you. The food was amazing, guys. Really appreciate it. Yeah, let's, we can get a picture afterwards and then it'll be awesome, man. Sounds good, man. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. 
I got that. I got that ocean spice, bro. This looks pretty small, so I, I should be able to eat it. I was worried that it was gonna be like a, like a cake thing. You know what I mean? So, luckily, this seems this seems digestible enough. There, I love this place, guys. So for real, like, if you guys are in Prague, or I'll, I'll post it on my Instagram for the people in, that follow me. Uh, it, it's this is I really love the place, man. I'm definitely coming out on here. Fuck. I'm coming on here. <laughs> I'm coming back here on my own for sure. And that was an exotic Abercrombie image. <laughs> All right, let's go for this. Here it is, guys. Mm. Oh, what? Bro. Bro. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh my dude. Okay, dude. I'm not ex I'm not a dessert person. I am not really a dessert person. I'm like halfway with sweets though. Dude. Oh. Mmm. Oh my god. Dude, that is so good. Okay, so how do I explain this? That's really good. That's really, really good. It's not overly sweet, which is really good. That's, that's why I don't really like dessert, is because they put too much sugar, and it's like sickeningly sweet. Um, you guys can rewind the stream to see what specifically is here, but you have this cream. Oh yeah, this cream, creamy, it's so creamy. The cream is like a cheesecake thing, cheesecake cream thing, and then these little things they call it like boondies or something. I don't know what they called it, but it's like a. Uh, Fuck, man. Like, I can't explain it. It's like a, a bread. If Dippin' Dots were made of bread. <laughs> it's such like an American thing. It's like Dippin' Dots if it was bread with like cheese cream like underneath it. It's so good. Bro, I, I really like it, man. It's fucking delicious. Oh my God. Mmm. The texture of the the dipping dots, the bundi or whatever, is like it's just like has that like it's not crunchy but just enough bite. I I I I am out. I can't explain it. I can't explain it. I don't know how to explain. It. It's really good. I fucking love this. Whatever the fuck this is. Hmm. Do you have any Pepto? I got Rennie, it's the European version. Oh, fuck. I don't care how full I am, this is super good. This is super good, man. Mmm. Mmm. Ah, oh, bruh. You know what dipping dots are? It's like I don't know. I don't know what it's like. Little balls of mini bread that's kind of crunchy. Like I don't know. How to, I don't. Have, I don't have the vocabulary for this. Dipping dots, and dripping dads. It's dripping dads and cream. Dude, it's super good. Uh, uh, dip and dust ice cream frozen in a bunch of pea-sized balls. I, I don't know what the fuck it is. It's This is great. If more dessert was like this, I would be a dessert person. Like, fucking hell, man.
motherfucker. Dipple dots. Just review restaurants and bistros and food guys and like, honestly, I Celeste. After today, I'm like, maybe this could be my new form of content, man. I mean, tra like sort of travel vlogs, but like food reviews and shit, like. I, that might have some legs, man. I don't know. Um, this I just this fucking thing is just super good, bro. Mmm. 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 Bro, dude, I don't know what this is, but it's really, really good, man. Mmm. I mean, you do tearing up. The, you do be tearing up. The tear the. Dreams of reviewing beds and couches at Ikea. Uh, um, Denise, ask what dialect language is spoken in Kerala. I'll, if, if I can, and if I remember, I might just totally forget. Um, should you be eating the stuff? Probably not, but it's too fucking good to pass up. I guess you do food reviews, it'd be hella entertaining. I might, I might just do that, dude. Like, I, I still, the, th the thing is with like, not to get all existential, it's not gonna be existential, it's gonna be light, but um, the type of content that I do now, I just, I don't, really don't wanna talk about all this fucking nonsense happening in the world, so I'm trying to think about some non-problematic type of videos I can make, and honestly, like, if, if I can do this, like, this is, this is fun. This is really nice, man, I really like it. <sighs> Food reviews are people that are not aficionados, let the cooks have their spotlight. And the good thing is, is that I'm completely open to all types of food. Like, I, I, re I have like no boundaries with like anything that people want to serve me, man. I'm really open to trying, any trying anything. My food reviews would be consist of, oh my God, what? Which is actually more effective. Like, would you trust somebody Bourdain, dude, I would love to have a show that's really similar to Anthony Bourdain's show like eventually maybe like I don't know I could be something I can make my own version of that, but uh, What Anthony Bourdain did I really really like the show. It's great. Anyways It's like what? What is more impactful when you have a food critic go? Oh, I like the overtones of the sweet and the sour except with a little hit of tang beneath the under palette of pepper and zucumbri bombs or it's either that or this mm. oh my god oh Which one says more? Which one says more, man? I, in my opinion, that says 10 times more than, oh, I like the taste and underneath the single verb is both. But Pia, you need to study a little cooking more. You need to realize the taste and the flavors. Yeah? Do you know the material of the bed that you sleep in? You know the material and architectural style of your building? Do you know where this tongue been? <laughs> You know where this tongue been, or you just sit back and enjoy it? How about? Sheesh, <laughs> mm. sheesh. This thing, it's a shame I can't, I can't pronounce half of the dishes here. It's really good. Oh, fuck. 
I just want to shove my tongue up in this bitch and just swirl it around, get every last inch of the cream, bro. Every part of the cream, and just swirl my tongue straight in there and freshen this whole damn thing up like I was a dishwasher, you know what I mean, bro? Bro, the audio and the visual are two different kinds of content. Well, that's why there's 200 people right here right now, bro. Like one of those super crumbs sort of hang on your supernatural lip. Finish with the cream. Oops. <laughs> This whole neighborhood gonna know about me now, you know? Could I had to look away? Well, no, you didn't. You gotta, you gotta look. I feel good now. I feel good. I feel good. Now, 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 now. You know that I would now. I feel good. I'm gonna end up on the table, yeah. Have the bitches with the table, yo. God damn with the stable, Rrr. yeah. I'm just picturing this, but the five guys never left to sit behind the camera. And uh, say hi to the chefs. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh man. Are you waiting on your girlfriend? Um, I'm talking to my girlfriends right now. <laughs> I hope all your food reviews. Yo, honestly, if I did a food con like food content and shit, I would say the same thing. If it's good, I'd just be like, oh, it's amazing. Bro, I don't know what this is, but it was like the best dessert I've ever had, man. Thank you very much. It was, uh, <laughs> you know, they told yeah, they explained yeah, it, they explained but it. I, I've just never seen anything like this. Yeah. So it, that's it's like a, it's a mix of traditional Indian and okay. Spanish. Span Spanish? Uh, French. French. Sorry. Oh yeah, French. French. Yeah, that's right. It's it's amazing. Man. Thank you very much. I, and I'm already super full, and I'm like, I have to eat the whole thing. Yeah. You know? I was just like, when, when you good. like this, you have to finish. Yeah, exactly. That's delicious, man. Thank it's really you. Good. So you want something more, something else? <laughs> I think I will pass out. <laughs> yeah, I can see yeah. in your face that you are so full. Do you have a, an espresso? Espresso? A coffee yes. and some sort yes. of small espresso or yes. something? Of Just to wake me up because I still have to ride home. So. <laughs> where, where do you live? I live pretty far from here. It's a Zhishkov. Zhishkov. Ah, yeah. It's like 40 minutes maybe. Yeah, but it's okay. I can get the fresh air. Yes. And, and breathe for a second, so it's no problem. Thank you, man. Welcome. Okay. Especially it's coming for you. Guys. Thank you. Oh, man. I knew you were going to get the coffee. Well, it looks like uh, I fig figured out a way to not have my phone overheat. It's good. This stream distracted me to the point I'm not completely lost in public. We need to open maps. <laughs> They're so sweet and polite and respectful. Yo, I'm, I'm telling you guys. Um, I know there's probably not a lot of prog people here, but I'm going to post it in my Instagram story. Man, it's far from the center, but it's really worth the trip. It's really good to hear, and the people are really passionate about their food. And that's ultimately what it is. It's the fact that they're really passionate, man. Uh, and that speaks to my, my heart, my fart, you know? Um, shit like that makes me want to cry. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <coughs> Coffee over after dessert, like a true European. I'm learning, huh? 40 minutes. How can we check if you get home? Uh, damn, I wish I could stream my way back because it's gonna be boring otherwise. Uh, art. This, this restaurant was, uh, it's, it's really nice here, man. 
It really, it was really, the whole experience was so, so fucking pleasant. Out of bar pre-gaming for the 4th. Oh, happy 4th of July, my friends. <laughs> American holiday. Oh, man. I'm like... I think it's about a year since I found my child, and you're still imprisoned with me, Lauren. I'm a pleasure. Uh, this new series for art with Pierre. Uh, can we have more grumpiness on the way? No. Uh, I forgot all about that. Are you gonna stream your ride home? I should, but the thing is, like, I already kind of had a hard time finding my way here. I want to stream my way back. I just, like, I don't really know the directions. Oh, wonderful, man. Awesome. Coffee is not from India. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thank you. Cool. Cheers with the espresso. Jolt, give me a, a jolt. Wake myself up, bruh. I just wanna let you guys know, with my watch hand, with the vape, <laughs> with the smoke, oh, hold on. Listen, listen. Everything I touch turns to gold. Whether it be my tattoo artist, whether it be that pokey place, anywhere that I go becomes world famous. What can I say? That's just who I am. Thank you very much, Moonstone, for the donation. Ooh, that's how I like my espresso, with a little punch. Assault me. <laughs> Thank you very much, Marissa. Happy Fourth of July to you as well. Fuck a Kai is fine. I, I was just fucking around earlier. Uh, don't ever go to Walmart on the Fourth of July. <laughs> I won't. Man. Uh, I, I hope this place blows the fuck up, man. I'm, I'm not even lying. Any place, even that sushi restaurant, the sushi restaurant, the pokey place, my tattoo artist, maybe this place. Anywhere that I go and I post about it, it blows the fuck up. So I'm letting y'all know around the world, if you want to pay for my hotel and my restaurants and all that shit, you can sponsor me. I make your restaurant worldwide. Dude, instead of Pitbull, it's gonna be your restaurant, bruh. Shit. Uh, lucky foot you have. It's my fangs. Snappy fangs. Do it there. We can do it all by yourself. Yeah, that's what I need to do if I go to Greece. Yeah, I got the Godfather PA. Uh,. I hope so for them, yeah, man. And he's not exaggerating. Dude, I'm not even lying, like my tattoo artist, uh, Exxon7, dude, he's doing full back pieces right now and he got like 26,000 likes on his recent back piece, which my photos don't even get to 20,000 likes. To homeboy, the homeboy went from fucking me being able to get a spot at any time to two months after, Fully booked until October. Like the dude is like international now. He's flying to like Germany and Spain and like Portugal, all these different countries and just fucking killing it right now, man. It's crazy. Uh, it's like a huge uh, wave of people falling one step behind you. Something like that. It's more like a chain reaction of what that is. Certain, a few certain people follow me, they go to the place, try it out, they start telling their friends, they post about it, and then it just, boom, you know. Went to Stockholm too. Um, saw his last piece is amazing with the details. He's a talented guy, man. He's, I, I, he's probably gonna be the only tattoo artist I pretty much go see. 
so make the leap P you make the leap if it has nicotine you should stop why do you keep talking to me like you're my wife bro uh Uh, I live in Stockholm. Now that you have a, you don't need for anyone else. Smells on our makes full energies, light up like Full Metal Alchemist. That's true. Yeah, it's just. I feel like this shit is gonna be neon, dude. Obsessed with the dragon, bro. I love it. I'm I'm looking to get a giant fucking back piece from him too. But uh, dude, I'm, I'm gonna be covered <laughs> by the end of this year. I'm gonna be covered, man. Everyone has their vices is pretty tame. Let the man be. Dude, uh, think about it, like, you guys, me eating meat and, and vaping and drinking, I'm pretty fucking level-headed <laughs> compared to some people. Bro, people out here, they be shooting up fucking vials of ketamine every Friday, bruh. Come on. Anything on your legs? Yeah, get my... Fucking neck, shoulders, the back, the thighs, the d. Just kidding, the knee. Uh, uh. Dude, it's the Czech Republic. People smoke fucking packs of cigarettes a day out here. I'm vaping. No problem, bro. Mosquito. Leave the tits alone. Um, you may reflect the type of common social media people telling how to live their lives bizarre. Oh, that's weird, man. Like, a big reason why I continue doing these type of streams, not only is it just fun for me and you guys, but I think that um, the internet doesn't have enough documentation of real life like real unedited life, which sometimes can be boring. Sometimes you see a fucking tree hitting on a bench. That's a terrible example of real life. But, um, you know, I think that's what it's missing, man. Everything's like hyper extreme on the internet. So you see the worst of the worst. You see the, the, the best of the best. There's no middle ground. It's like complete overstimulation and, uh, I think what I like about the streams is that I tried to make it a, a good enough representation of everyday life without making it too extreme. Uh, which is why I don't want to like go around like screaming like Jake Paul. And that's why I'm trying to trying to stay like fairly low key, you know, because that way it still maintains the vibe of humanity. Thank you very much, Lyris. This was fun. Glad the day got better. Thank you very much, Lyris. It was good talking to you the other day on Instagram Live. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the super chat. In real life, we don't go and tell adults how to live their lives. It's just absurd. Yeah, isn't that interesting? People feel comfortable on the internet doing it, but then they would never really do it to people they know, unless it's like a relationship partner, which is why I'm not in a relationship with really. Uh, I locate your honest and grumpiness better than go to my main channel. <laughs> this appeared randomly and I clicked in. I hope you enjoy your time on this restaurant, man. <laughs> oh, man. I did an Insta live uh, one time, and that was like a few days ago. It was yesterday, I don't remember. The results, I'm craving Indian. Come, come to this place, dude. This place is amazing. Like, look at the look at the place. Look at the place, bro. Just look at the restaurant. Look at this. Look at that.
Yo, seriously, come here, man. Like... Are you gonna take us on the way back? Yeah, I think I will. Uh, what I, okay, what I'll do, um, once we close up here, I'll finish this espresso, maybe get some pictures with those guys. I'll, I'll end the stream and I'll start one last stream. Oh, no, I'll look up how to get home. And then, uh, dude, Sauce is still on the music. Just mute the audio. Uh, so, um, I found the comment hurtful. Okay. I prefer you to be mean. Okay, here's me being mean. I found that comment hurtful. <laughs> I'm, I am never gonna be in a relationship ever again. Anyways, so uh, what I'm gonna do, we're gonna finish up and uh, get some photos with those guys. I'll, I'll GPS my direction home and then I will stream my way home. How about that? Happy 4th of July, everyone. Any form of stress is bad as smoking. Yeah, that's true. On the outside, yeah, you can withhold it. Oh, man. Sounds like a plan. All right, so I'm thinking we can get a get a picture with everybody here. And have everybody say goodbye. Let's see if the internet works when it's when it's in indoors again and uh we'll see we'll see how it goes oh shit bring my, my biz act pack my act pack <laughs> but an act pack yeah um i'm gonna see if the internet works inside and then i can say show everybody and then you can say bye and everything yeah yes so can you speak Czech at all now that you're here? <laughs> Nobody then. <laughs> Same here. Man. Okay. Yeah. So there seems to be some internet problems here. Yeah. The moment I go inside, it'll, it'll mess up. Let me. I would like everyone to say goodbye once the internet is back, but we might have to go like over there. Yeah, sure. Is that okay? Sure. Cool, man. Yeah. I'll bring my backpack. You want us to come? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, just right over here. Yeah, and then you can say bye to everybody. Yeah. Okay, is the internet better? Okay, he's back. So I'm, I'm just getting everybody to say goodbye. And then... Uh, Some of y'all already leave? Sorry? Did some of y'all already leave? No, 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 no. Okay, cool, cool. Yo, man, like... Dude, every... That was like one of the best dining experiences, the whole thing. It's not even just the food, man. Like, just the, your energy here, the, the place and how it looks, how you present the food. That dessert, though? <laughs> what is that? Dude, I thought I was full and I couldn't eat anymore. Uh -huh. And then I tried the dessert and I'm like, I've never had anything like that. That was so good, man. Thank you so much, man. Damn. Well, this is Ocean Spice, everybody. It's a beautiful restaurant. I highly recommend everyone to come here. Is there anything you guys want to say? Yeah, well, everyone is welcome anytime. Like, <laughs> awesome. Everyone should yeah, so come. Happy to, uh, you know, taste something new. Cool, man. Us, yes. Well, I, I just brought you guys to say goodbye. I'll, I'm hoping that you'll see some new people here. I'll, I'll post you on Instagram too. Yes, so, thank you so much. I hope you guys have a flood of new people because, like, <laughs> you deserve it. It's great. So, say bye to everybody. Bye. 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 See you guys later bye. from Ocean Spice. Bye. Let's get it. Ocean Spice gang. Let's get it. 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 Let's get